Peppa and George are going to play in the garden with their ball. Whee! George throws the ball as high as he can and catches it. I can do that too. Whee! Oh. Peppa has missed the ball. <laughs> this is a silly game. <laughs> Here is Peppa's best friend, Susie Sheep. Susie has two tennis rackets. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Let's play tennis. Yes, that sounds fun. To you, Susie. Oh. Susie has missed the ball. <laughs> oh. Peppa has missed the ball. <laughs> Peppa and Susie like playing tennis. But George feels a bit left out. Oh, sorry, George. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. <laughs> I know. George can be the ball boy. Yes, it's a very important job. George is going to be the ball boy. He has to collect the ball when it is hit too far. To you, Susie. Oh. Ball boy! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Oh, ball boy! <laughs> Thank you, ball boy. Ball boy! Oh dear. George doesn't like this game. <laughs> Here are Danny Dog, Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Rebecca Rabbit and Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? But there aren't enough rackets. Oh. oh. Let's play something else. <laughs> Let's play football. Yes, football. <laughs> Girls against boys. <laughs> <laughs> we each need a goalkeeper. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit will be the goalkeepers. We'll start. <laughs> goal! <laughs> Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. The boys are winning. <laughs> That's not fair. We weren't ready. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can. I'm the goalkeeper. Go, go Rebecca, go. Go. <laughs> go. Hooray. The goal is not allowed. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, what it a isn't. lot of noise. Daddy. The boys are cheating. No, the girls are cheating. It sounds like you need a referee. What's a referee? It's someone who makes sure that everyone plays fair. I'll be the referee. Me, 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 Stop. me, me. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal will win the game. Hooray! Where's the ball? <laughs> 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 goal! Richard Rabbit has scored a goal. Hooray! The boys win. Oh. Oh. Football is a silly game. Just a moment. The boys scored in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? Hooray! Football is a great game. <laughs> <laughs> George's birthday. Today is George's birthday. It is very early in the morning. <laughs> George, it's too early. Dinosaur. Go back to bed. <laughs> It sounds like someone's up bright and early. 
Happy birthday, birthday George. George. George woke me up. You woke everyone up on your birthday, Pepper. That was different. That was my birthday. And today is George's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, George. <laughs> Here's your present, George. Ooh. Dinosaur! <laughs> I knew it would be some sort of dinosaur thingy. <laughs> oh, oh. Squeeze its tummy. <laughs> Too scary! <laughs> <laughs> George, I've made you a birthday card. Can you guess what the picture is? George cannot guess. I was going to paint you a flower. Oh. George does not like flowers. But in the end, I painted you a... Dinosaur! That's a lovely picture, Pepper. Yes, I'm very good at painting. <laughs> now, we're going somewhere very special for George's birthday treat. Yippee! Let's go! Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> the family are setting off for George's birthday treat. Are we going to the circus? No, but it's somewhere just as good. Um, is it the cinema? No, much better. I just can't guess. Where can they be going? We're here. The family have arrived at the museum. Why are we at the museum? Come on, you'll see. What can George's birthday treat be? George? What do you like best in the whole world? Dinosaur. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur. George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> Be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and. <laughs> and now there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? <laughs> what do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George... Why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur! A bouncy dinosaur! Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> this rabbit's day off. Pepper, George and Susie Sheep have had a sleepover at Rebecca Rabbit's house. It's fun having carrots for breakfast, Mummy Rabbit. Yes, we always have carrots for breakfast. I could eat carrots all day, but I'd better go to work. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mummy Rabbit, why don't you work? I do work, Susie. Who do you think looks after these two little bunnies? You do, Mummy. <laughs> and you can help me by tidying up your toys, please, before someone trips over them. That'll be my sister. Hello. Hello, Miss Rabbit. And 
party. I can't stop long. I've got lots of work to do today. I've got the supermarket checkout, the ice cream stall and the bus to drive. See you later then, sister. Bye, sister. Whoops! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has tripped over one of Richard's toys. Oh, my ankle. I can still hop to work. No. Oh, uh, you oh, stay here and get better. But I've got so much work to do. I'll do your work for you. Which job is first? The supermarket. OK. Rebecca, look after your auntie. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has arrived at the supermarket. Thank goodness you're here, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit is ill. I'll be doing her job today. Are you not Miss Rabbit? No, I'm her sister, Mummy Rabbit. Is this where I sit? Er, uh, yes. Have you ever worked a checkout before? No. How much is this? Oh, I don't know. I've got a voucher. Do you take book tokens? Can I pay with a card? Um... Susie Sheep is dressed up in her nurse's costume. Don't worry, I'm only a pretend nurse. Stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ah. Rebecca Rabbit's house. Who's speaking, please? It's Mummy Rabbit. Is everything OK? Yes. Good, because this job is going to take me all day. What about Miss Rabbit's other jobs? We'll need more help. <laughs> Uh, Miss Rabbit's ice cream stall. Daddy, why are you buying an ice cream? Oh, Pepper, I was on the way to the gym when I thought an ice cream would be nice. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is ill. You've got to sell the ice cream today. Oh, oh, I'm an expert at ice cream. Can I have a cherry ice cream? Uh, strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, banana. With pistachio and strawberry, please. Ah, strawberry. Oh, it's melted. How about ice cream soup instead? Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Miss Rabbit is ill. Can you drive a bus? Today? Of course, Pepper. <laughs> All aboard! Mummy Sheep's car has broken down. <laughs> Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Can you rescue me, please? I'll be straight there. We would like to apologise for any inconvenience this may cause to your journey. Driving a bus is quite hard. Selling ice cream is quite hard. Running a supermarket checkout is quite hard. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling better. Can I get up now? No, you must lie very still, but please keep breathing. Are you feeling any better, Miss Rabbit? It's not easy doing all your jobs. It's not easy looking after your little bunnies. <laughs> you will be back to work tomorrow, won't you? Yes. And you'll be back at home, won't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The biggest muddy puddle in the world. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. There's so much rain. That means there will be puddles to jump in tomorrow. Oh, goody. You can never have too much rain. <laughs> it is morning. Hooray! <laughs> muddy puddles! Hello, Mrs. Duck. What are you doing here? <sniffs> wow! The rain has made a flood. Our house is a desert island. Muddy puddles, here I come. Whee! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Who put all this water here? How will we get our food? Daddy will have to swim to the shops. Uh... Grandpa Pig has arrived on his boat. Ahoy there! 
wonderful boating weather. Um, yes. We're sailing to the shops. Do you need anything? Yes, please. Can you get us some tomatoes and spaghetti? Tomatoes and spaghetti? Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. Polly can be our shopping list. Who's a clever parrot? Oh, who's a clever parrot? Can we come too, please? <laughs> Hop aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Susie Sheep's house. <laughs> We're going to the shops. Do you need anything? Mummy, do we need anything from the shops? Yes, we need food for dinner. Chocolate, please. Oh, chocolate. <laughs> Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. I'm helping my granddad. We're rescuing people. Great weather for it. Do you need anything from the shops? Uh, maybe a newspaper. And a comic. Newspaper, comic. Grandpa, what's that stick thing in the water? Ah, submarine. Action stations. <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearties! It's Grampy Rabbit in his submarine. Lovely day to go sailing with just the sea and the sky, the stories I could tell. Do you need any shopping? Oh, yes. Uh, cheese, please. Cheese? Grandpa Pig's boat has arrived at the supermarket. Hello. It's very quiet today. You're my first customers. Maybe it's because of the flood. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? A little bit of rain and everyone stays at home. What can I get you? Polly has a list. Who's a clever parrot? Who's a clever parrot? Oh, dear. Polly has forgotten the list. Luckily, I remember what everyone wants. Cheese! Thank you, Pepper. You're a good one. Newspaper and comic. Thanks, Thanks Pepper. Pepper. It was lucky Pepper was going to the shops, or we'd have nothing for dinner. Here's your chocolates. Now we can have our dinner, Mummy. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived back home. It is their bedtime. It is morning. Oh. The water has gone, but left a big muddy puddle. Muddy puddle! <laughs> this is the biggest muddy puddle in the world ever! <laughs> Pedro the Cowboy. It is a lovely sunny day. Pedro has a new play tent. Here are Pepper, George, Danny Dog, Susie Sheep and Wendy Wolf. Hello, Hello Pedro. Pedro! Howdy, everyone. Welcome to my cowboy camp. Yeehaw! It's a tent. It's a cowboy camp where cowboys sleep at night time. Are you going to sleep here in the night? <laughs> um, no. That might be a bit scary. But we can pretend it's night time. But it's not night time. Just pretend the sun is the moon. Okay. okay. Pedro, can we be cowboys too? Yes, you could be my partners. <laughs> <laughs> is my little cowboy hungry? I sure am, Ma. That's how cowboys speak. Would you cowboys and cowgirls like something to eat too? Yes, please, Ma. Do the cowboys always camp next to their mummy's kitchen? No. You have to pretend the house is not here. This is the Wild West. What's that? The Wild West is the land where cowboys live. What do cowboys do? They tell stories, sing songs and eat beans. Beans on toast for everyone. Hooray! Cowboys love beans on toast. 
Everybody loves beans on toast. Who wants a cowboy song? Do you know a real cowboy song? Yes, I made it up. And it goes like this. I'm a brave cowboy and I'm eating my beans with a bing and a bong and a boo. Baked beans bang, baked beans boo. Baked beans bingly bongly bang. I could tell a story. Make it scary. <laughs> it was a wet and windy night in the Wild West. Ooh. And wild animals were out looking for food. Looking for food at night? Some animals eat at night, Susie. Wild animals. Brrr. And the brave cowboy Pedro was alone in his tent. But he couldn't sleep because something was outside the tent. <laughs> was it a wild animal? What's that? It's a wild animal! <laughs> ah! Oh! It is a tiny little bird. Come to look at Pedro's tent. I think it was an eagle. Eagles live in the Wild West. Is everybody all right? Yes, Mummy. It's nearly home time. But we haven't done the pretend sleeping yet. Everybody back in the tent. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, partners. Good, Good night, night, Cowboy Pedro. Pedro. <laughs> I'm glad there aren't any wild animals out there. Oh! Wild animals! Ah! It's a wolf! Yes, it's my daddy. Oh! Mr Wolf has come to take Wendy Wolf home. All the parents are here to pick up the children. Bye-bye, Cowboy Pedro! Bye-bye, everyone! Are you coming in, Pedro? I want to pretend sleeping a bit more. OK. Mummy, can I come in now? Yes, my brave little cowboy. Even brave little cowboys like to sleep indoors sometimes. Night, Pedro. Good night, Ma. The Queen. Pepper and her family are watching television. <laughs> And now, a special message from the Queen. The Queen! The Queen! <laughs> this is the Queen. Hello to you all. Hello, Queen! Today, I have decided to give an award to the hardest working person in the country. I wonder who that will be. It certainly won't be you, darling. <laughs> the hardest working person in the country is... Miss Rabbit. Ooh. Miss Rabbit runs the ice cream stall, the recycling centre, the library. She drives the train, the fire engine, flies a rescue helicopter and works the supermarket checkout. Phew! What a long day. Surprise! Surprise! What are you not doing here? Miss Rabbit, I have a very special letter for you. Open it! <laughs> Miss Rabbit, please come to my palace to get a medal for all your hard work. Bring friends, all the best, the Queen. Ooh. Miss Rabbit has fainted. I can't visit the Queen. I've got too much work to do. Relax. No one will be working that day. The Queen has made it a holiday. Hooray! <laughs> it is the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Pepper and her friends are going too. We're off to see the Queen. We're off to see the Queen. This is the Queen's Palace. Hello? Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops! 
What a big house! Lots of room for a queen to kick a ball about. Where is the queen? Queen! Queen! Where are you? Hello. Have you seen the queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs Queen. <laughs> you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> now for the party. To the garden. You've got a lovely big garden, Your Majesty. Do you play in it all the time? I don't have much time for playing, no. That's sad. Oh, dear. A muddy puddle. Never mind. We can walk around it. You can't walk around a muddy puddle. No? No. You have to jump in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. That does look fun. Here one goes, then. Stop! <gasps> if you jump in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots, Your Majesty. Oh, dear. The Queen is not wearing her boots. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> the Queen loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> The end of the holiday. It is the last morning of Peppa's holiday in Italy. I'm just going for one last walk. What? <laughs> going for one last swim, Mr Pig? Uh, yes. One last swim before I go home. I want to stay on holiday forever. Holidays are nice, but they don't last forever, Peppa. Think of all your friends waiting for you back home. Yes. I miss my friends, and I miss Goldie the fish. Can I telephone Goldie? OK, Pepper. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <coughs> um, she's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Pepper, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Peppa back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Peppa. This suitcase is heavy. Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Pepper has forgotten Teddy. What a lovely holiday. Yes. I have never felt so relaxed. Ah. Hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. <laughs> Mr Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take a better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Pepper to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie. But she's flying home now. Flying high in the sky. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs>
I hope it's sunny when we get home. Peppa's family have arrived home. <laughs> Granny Pig, Grandpa Pig, Goldie! What has Grandpa done to you? <laughs> um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, ho! We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and Susie love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> <laughs>